The siege of Changsha led to a personal tragedy for Mao's ex-wife, his second wife. Yan Kaihui, and had fallen deeply in love with Mao. They had three sons together. But Mao had abandoned her at the time of the autumn harvest uprising. The provincial governor knew who she was and had let her live in peace. Even after the first attack by Peng, and when the government troops recaptured the city, she was left alone. But with the second siege and Mao's press release that he was chairman of all China, she and their oldest son were arrested. She was offered freedom if she would denounce Mao. She didn't and was executed. And the executioners then, in accordance with Chinese custom, took off her shoes and carried them away as far as they could so that her spirit could not follow them home. The son was released, and later it was Mao's younger brother and not Mao himself who made arrangements for the children to travel to Shanghai where they were entered into a secret communist kindergarten. In 1982, during renovations to her old home, poems Kai Hui had written were uncovered. Here's one she wrote in October 1928, one year after Mao had left. He had only written once, and in it mentioned he had trouble with his feet. She did not yet know that he had remarried. Downcast day and north wind starts. Thick chill seeps through flesh and bones. Thinking of this faraway man. Suddenly waves churn out of calm. Is the foot trouble healed? Is the winter clothing ready? Who cares for you while you sleep alone? Are you as lonely and sad as I am? No letters are coming through. I ask. But no one answers. How I wish I had wings. Fly to see this man. Unable to see him. Sorrow, it has no end. 